Welcome back. I'm some guy you've never heard of, and this is Total War Three Kingdoms. All right. So last time we conquered um, Paitian and what's this one? Ruyang. And once again, sorry for any free thing that I mispronounce. Right. Hey, ye. Yeah, all right. He's got Wu Yin, Nan. Interesting. This guy's annoyed with me because I crossed his territory when I was coming over here. That's okay, though. I am Diplomacy not provides you with more tools to help further your cause when dealing with other factions. All right, good to know. No, I'm good. All right. Um. How is my army doing? With vision. The absence of people is indicative of China's sickness. To make way for spring, the earth must first be cleared. Alright, so they don't have any action points. That's right, we had just taken this. I just checked out a few other things. So yeah, time to start a new turn. We would be no threat to you. Um... So you're asking me for money in exchange for a non-aggression pact. Considering you're the one proposing this, shouldn't you be the one uh, offering something? Though I can't offer a counter unless, uh... Okay, got it. We would be no threat to you. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to reject that. I'm not giving you a pile of cash in exchange for a non-aggression pact. I will give you a non-aggression pact in exchange for a non-aggression pact. But no, I feel like you're the one that wants this. You're the one that should be, like, forking something over. We withdraw it, then. Good. Good. 
To begin with, your diplomatic dealings with other warlords will be limited. But as you grow in power, you will be taken more seriously, and more options will become open to you. Cool beans. All right. So, uh, mission success. Sato administrates firmly but fairly. My economy grows. Nice. Ooh, a mission issued. An army is called and Tatsao looks to lead. Word of your efforts has spread and there are now many who admire your ambition, believing you to be the one with the strength to drive to, and drive to reunite China. They are willing to put their faith in your leadership and offer their talents in your service. It is time for you to start recruiting warriors for the long battle ahead. Recruit and maintain a total of 19 units at the start of a new turn. I have 17 right now. 17? Okay, so the commanders themselves count as units. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Death of Tsao Tsong. Word has reached you that your beloved father, Tsao Tsong, has been ambushed and murdered by the vile Tao Kyung. The dude that was just offering me an non-aggression pact. On unfavorable terms. if this might be seen as an act of treachery it's not all right we are going to crush them my advancement is relentless well I did have something else that I was planning on doing this room This death is a disappointment. They were strong, talented, and dependable. In their death, I have lost a valuable pawn. Oh, I get bonus experience. Okay. Alright, what's between me and my enemy there? Looks like there's some yellow turban stuff in between here and there. Fellow that there is he ye. This will be short. The only thing I could do with him is offer war. Okay. Great. I was kinda hoping I could get um Oh crap. What's his face is going? Oh no, he's still up there. Okay. I was kind of hoping I could uh, propose a non-aggression pact, but apparently I cannot. Got it. Okay. What about what's his space also to myself here? I can't any offer any diplomatic things with him. Good day. Oh, now I can. Okay. That much? It would take that much to get him to make a non-aggression pact with me. Wow. Um, I'll take the risk then. Okay, yellow turban rebellion. Yes, yes. Talk. I can't. Okay, there's nothing I can do with them. Got it. I was gonna ask. Uh... Oh, I'm at war with them still. Okay. 
So what about Yuan Shu? Good day. All right. That wouldn't cost nearly as much. I'll risk it. I'll just risk it. All right, Kongjo, where are you? We have unfinished business. State your business. Does a trade agreement do? There we go. Let's have a trade agreement and, an on, and a non-aggression pact. As you wish. All right. Cool. Okay. What's uh, Liu Chong here? Liu Chong. What for today? Okay, I don't have a... Okay. Non-aggression pact. Oh, you'd be down with a non-aggression pact. Alright. Yeah, let us propose this deal. We reach an understanding. Good. I'm glad. All right, well, that's my west and east covered. Still a lot going on down here in the south. Um. All right, well, let's just march towards what's this face? He killed my father. I'm not going to let that go unanswered. All right, let's recruit a little more. There we go. All right, that should also finish that other turn, that other thing on my next turn. All right, and then let's take the army. Oh, what's going on with the... Oh, I've leveled. I can take another skill. Let's go with understanding. 
and I'll apply that. That sounds like some a good one. Unlocks industrial exploitation. Oh, plus eight expertise. Unlocks industrial exploitation. Plus one starting rank for all recruits faction wide. Okay. All right. All right. So my army is at its max size. Can I only have three retinues in an army? Out of curiosity? I don't know. Well, we're going to march north. I used the wrong click. All right. Strong leadership. Forward, ever forward. All right. So what's going on here? The oh, we finished upgrading them. Of China's sickness. Okay, so I could build what state workshops. Government support, an inn, Sintian conscription, or tax collection. Okay, what's going on over here? A livestock corral. What does that do? Five prestige, two food, 80 income, 10 reserve capacity. Okay, what's going on here? It's grain farms. What do I have over here? Irrigated farms. And then this is... That is the town. Oh, so these things have like an... Oh, okay. For a moment I thought this was like a tree with options. So I could turn it into a large town, and that'll take three turns. What'll it cost me? 1600 Okay. What about my irrigated farms? Those can't be upgraded. This is an empty spot that can be upgraded. This farm can be upgraded. Currently a livestock corral. It could go up to being a livestock farm. And then it can become either a livestock farmstead or a livestock, a grand livestock estate after becoming a livestock estate. Okay, so there is a split there. Okay, what about green farms? It is just this, just a line here. Okay, so it could become a communal grain farm. Okay, so these are economic buildings, these are agriculture buildings, these are learning and market buildings, these are military buildings, government buildings, farms, and livestock. Out of curiosity, if I upgrade the town, does that give me more slots to build on?
Okay, if I upgrade it to the third, where it's small city, that would give me a new building slot. Alright, then I don't really see the need. Let's see. Gives me population capacity. Income, income from commerce, reserve capacity. Just a little more information about what garrison is, but that's okay. Um, it's supposed to take three turns. Cost me, what, 1600 Okay. In my other slot, I could build... What about Tunitan Conscription? Here's food for... Improves new recruit new recruits and food production minus minus four k population growth plus ten percent food production plus five percent campaign movement range minus ten percent construction costs ag agricultural garrisons plus two starting rank for all recruits local armies okay what about tax collection. Increase local taxation for peasantry income, plus 80 income, peasantry, economic buildings, construction costs, and unlocks a reform. What reform is this? Bureau of Banditry. Okay, and it's minus for public order. What about the inn? What will that do? Focus on commerce income, plus 100 income commerce, plus 10% income from commerce. Agricultural building construction cost reduction minus 10%, and unlocks. What reform is this? Liu Bo. Okay, what is that reform? Curiosity. This branch will increase influence when trading with other factions. It unlocks a unit, plus 25% trade influence, and unlocks some buildings. Okay, interesting. Still looking at the possibilities here. Government support? What is this? Drifter farming count. Okay. 25% food production, 10% income from peasantry, military building construction cost minus 10%. Second level of the building, farm labor count. And then it branches off, workforce distribution office, farm supply storage, interesting. Here you all see my irrigated farms. Oh, this could have become a food trader instead. Oh, yeah. I think I remember dealing with that. Interesting. So this has multiple branches.
No, we'll go with the conscription office, I think. Oh no, the... The... Tuntian conscription. Alright, yeah, construct that. And that's going to take one turn. So I can't construct anything else at the moment. Got it. But it's only going to take one turn, so it shall be done next turn. Wait, what is this here? So, my towns could raise armies, apparently. Okay, Lufan would make a great uh, prime minister, apparently. Okay, no, I'm not racing another army right now. I will consider it, should the need arise, but... Alright, so I've already marched towards... What's his face? Oh. I... Not sure if I was referring to those as the south correctly or not, considering I can swivel my look at the map around. Okay. Alright, well, time to end our turn. We would be no threat to you. Down there, you want some food? Yeah, fine. You're, yeah, you're too big and in the opposite direction where I'm taking my armies. I'll accept your deal. I'll give you three food per turn. Wisdom met by wisdom. Army is called and Cao Cao looks to lead. Growing might. Plus 50 bonus experience for units per season. Plus 10% fac replenishment faction wide. Nice. Mission issued. Opportunity glimmers and Cao Cao senses power. Your initial advances were promising, my lord, but bolder steps are required. You must take control of the entire commandery. By doing so, you will solidify a central position that allows you to administrate and strategize more effectively. From such a position, you can more easily expand your influence and fight any other warlords in your way. Um. Well, I have an entire commandery. You've 
issued me a mission that I've completed already. Interesting. So my credibility increases. Nice. All right, from each according to their ability. My lord, the generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills they can put to use in improving your realm. In each commandery, they can be sent on assignments to oversee and improve the infrastructure, both military and civic, of your lands. Each character has different qualities to bring these endeavors, so inspect your options carefully. Send any character on assignment. Okay. Roots of Unmatched Power. Gyanwe are known as a bastion of strength and loyalty. It is said that once a mighty banner was blowing over blowing over in the breeze, and ten men could not hold it up. However, Dianwei, using just one hand, held the banner upright, earning great fame. Okay, apparently I have recruited someone. Cool. Um, Alright, let me look at my characters. Oh, dude, you should be using my, uh... Wait, don't you have a... I thought you were using that bow. Oh, no, Cao Ren has the bow. Okay, well, then you can use my... My, uh... Wooden ox, that's fine. Okay, Lady Pyong... He's using my stone pig. Got it. I just got this new guy here. Oh, and he has a he can get a skill. Okay. You can take Guile. Vengeance. Or Trust. Alright, let's give him Trust. Okay, out of curiosity. What's this? Undercover network? Active spies. I can get spies now? Okay. Interesting. Guo Jia could go and spy on Dong Zhou for me. Alright. I'm interested in that. Okay, but the faction I'm actually interested in spying on... He Yi. Can we not spy on them? Right, I already have like a non-aggression with Liu Chang and Kong Zhao and Liu Biao. Yuan Shu then? Let's send uh Humu Zi for that.
Not all action must be overt. The unseen fly can travel where the tiger cannot. By sending out a spy, I can see move unseen, but have all revealed to me. Okay. Cool. Look at my courts. Okay, I can't have a prime minister until I am a duke. I can't have an administrator. All right. I don't have any other positions open right now. Got it. Okay. I will rid China of strife. All right, my army is going to continue moving north. Looks like my retinues are replenishing, so that's good. Oh, and we, uh, that's right, that one thing was only going to take one turn. So now we can go ahead and build something again. Okay, this would cost me another thousand, and it would upgrade what? Plus one seasonal retinue deployment. Okay, I don't know what that is. More food production, more campaign movement range. Minus construction cost for agricultural garrisons. Plus two starting rank for all recruits. So that's the same. But it's also minus on population growth. Speaking of population growth. It's currently growing. Growth total of 15. Okay, so it's growing by 11k. Got it. So it wouldn't hurt us too bad if we did that. No, let's invest in something else. Um, I can't increase my... I can't improve my grain farms? Nope. Oh, I can't afford it. Alright, got it. Oh, yeah, because my army is so big, so I'm not... I'm barely producing money right now. That's okay, we can deal. I don't need to buy anything this turn, I don't think. So, yeah. I moved my army, right? Did they move? Yes, they moved. All right, let's end our turn then. Oh, he's coming towards me. Oh, he's offering us money. He is offering me money for two weapons and a mili and military access. Let's see. Hmm. I already have a non-aggression pact with this fellow. I don't really need to move through his territory at all. Wait, ancillary? I thought those were weapons.
No, I'll accept your offer. I think I'm good with that. A productive meeting. Thank you. Ooh, faction succession, Kong Zhao, is succeeded by Tang Yuri. Hey. Our spy has been dispatched to another faction. There they will travel the land, attempting to infiltrate them, ingratiate themselves with the nobility, while simultaneously scouting for us and building our undercover network. Whether they will make an impression and successfully infiltrate the faction is uncertain, but we will nonetheless benefit from their clandestine efforts. Okay, cool. And the one that went to Zhangzhou, got it. Okay, so... Good to see you. Alright, is our... Is okay. I just wanted to make sure that like things stayed, so we do still have our non-aggression pact. Cool. Okay, so I can't make any marriages with them. Got it. How would she feel about giving me military access? I don't really need it right now. I was just curious. Okay. I really just wanted to make sure that we still had our non-aggression pact. And we do, so I'm happy. Tens right there. March. All right, I want to end my turn still in my territory. So there's that. Oh no, we're losing money now. Oh, because of my army up because we've been reinforcing. Got it. I'll have to see what I can do about income. Speaking of which, how long till I have reforms? Two more turns on reforms. Okay. Um, treasury. So we've got that. Got 332 from trade, 365 from peasants. Okay. Um... Okay, so if I improve that farm, it would give me plus 100 income from peasantry. How about this here? If I were to improve this, it would give me... Oh, but it also costs more upkeep. Um, More food production, military building construction cost reduction. Okay. This one here specifically would give me income... Increasing my town would give me more income as well, but not as much overall. But it also wouldn't increase my upkeep, right? Only plus 25 from peasantry, but plus 25% from commerce. Which is over 300, so I'd be at least 75. Yeah, we're gonna... It'll take three turns. What about this? That'll take three turns as well. 
All right, we're going to do it. I know that's expending a good chunk of our current treasury, but yeah, over time, I think that is a good investment. Why is it taking me this long to start playing this game? This is the sort of thing that's like fairly up my alley depending on my mood. Alright. don't have any pawns available yet for two more turns. Got it. For China! Alright, I've got more movement, but I want to... I want to end on my side of the border. We'll see what um, what's his face is going to do right now. Looks like he's going to dig in. Faction succession tong yuri again. Okay. What is going on over there? Yuan Shu declared war on He Yi. Okay. Zhang Yan declared war on Yellow Turban Rebellion. Okay. Declawing the Tiger. Sun Jin is killed by Hong Zhao Zhu at the Battle of Xiangyang. Cut down in a hail of arrows. Okay. Good to know. Ooh, I'm losing a lot right now, but that's okay. We can deal. Okay, let's just double check that I still have a non-aggression pact over that way. Oh, okay. They kept the name of the faction, even though it's a new dude in charge. Well met, friend. Or did they not? Okay, Zhao Xin. We still have our non-aggression. Yes, we still have our non-aggression pact. That's all I care about at the moment. I want to make sure people are... Especially since I'm not sure how the successions are happening over there, I just want to make sure people are honoring the deals of their predecessors. Okay. So dude is just hanging out in Yellow Turban territory. All right, well, we're going to attack him, but we're not going to do that until next time. So thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Total War Three Kingdoms, and I am some guy you've never heard of. Unless, of course, you have. <laughs>